Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, I'd like to start this episode off by giving a shout out to Yornick, who says, All this crap on the chainsword and over the whole machine makes perfect sense. You see, this particular knight is actually a lumberjack. And he is, in fact, okay. He sleeps all night and he works all day. He also likes to... Redacted. That's some weird shit nobody needs to know. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, and Hawk Shroud's name is just another example of time and stupidity making fools of the Imperium. Originally, these fellas here were called Schrodinger's Hawks, like that one kitty who's both alive and dead, only somewhat birdier. And then I'm pretty sure he makes one of his, uh pro-chaos jokes, except it doesn't show up properly on my phone. The font isn't reading. Unfortunately. <laughs> I don't even know how you change the font in a, uh, in a YouTube comment. <laughs> Sorry about that. There was an issue I needed to attend uh, to. <clears throat> Shout out to Solo Axe Lion, who says, You mention helpful mutations. And I can't help but remember reading about the tragedy of the Flame Falcons chapter of Space Marines. Created during what came to be known as the Cursed Founding, they discovered they had the helpful mutation of being able to burst into flames that only harmed their enemies. A representative of the Inquisition didn't think so and ordered them exterminated. Oh boy. Yeah. That's, that's more like what uh, I've come to expect from the Inquisition, to be perfectly honest. Another uh, sigil back here. What? I can't tell if my guy is just trying to walk up this or if I can actually climb that if it weren't for the fact that we're under an overhang. That's very confusing. the machine called. All right. Sorry, happy face. The reactor drum needs to be clean. I've never once heard anything about money in Warhammer 40k, and yet I know it must exist because there's bajillions of people who live in squalor. <laughs> I 
love how the whole back is exposed metal, just straight up like a giant engine with arms on the sides. It's not even painted back here. Well, aside from on the actual skull sigil itself. Hey, wait a minute. That's not a Mechanicus sigil. Well, I mean, it's on a gear, but it's not, like, split in half with the, the one side being metal. Like that. Okay, that side doesn't... you really can't tell, but, you know, it's at least different colors on the two sides. Now I need to go look at other stuff. Like the big one up here on the, uh, the stained glass window. So even when it doesn't differentiate, they're two different colors. And the big one up there very clearly has, like, wires and an eyepiece on it. Although, ironically, it's the other eye that's glowing red, I suddenly notice. Huh! Oh, I didn't even notice this! This is great! The shadow is coming in from these windows. That's great. Huh. This is how I notice I don't commit a shadow. Maybe I traded it in for more bandwidth. That looks filthy. Damn. What is that, by the way? This thing here. It's tall, it's got a uh, glowing blue, it's filled with little rings. It kind of looks like the top of a plasma rifle, except about 200 times bigger and covered in purity seals. One of them being really, really long. That would be some kind of plasma reactor. Why the fuck would it just be out here in this, I guess, cleaning bay? It only t identifies things that are part of what I'm supposed to be cleaning, of course, so... Yes, I can tell you that right there is the waist joint, that's the reactor drum, that's the chainsword body. Oh, that? No, that's the lower leg auxiliary piston, no big deal. Like, you know, but that thing over there, that giant glowing object? No idea. Could be anything. Could be magic. Except that magic is heresy. I don't remember if I mentioned that yet, that one of the big differences between Warhammer Fantasy and 40k is that in 40k, all magic is evil. part of the whole corruptive nature of uh, information about chaos. The more you learn about it, the more it gets its hooks in you. Oh, really? Yeah, we just finished cleaning the robot's taint. There we go. Minty fresh. <laughs> I forgot about that. You can actually see the uh, the bottle on there, which means I can actually see the skull symbol on it. There's a gooder view of it. Gooder? Jesus Christ, man! I wonder if they put a. Well, I guess they'd have to put a story in the emails for uh, the Back to the Future stuff. Like if you're just some guy, Doc uh, Brown is hired to clean up all this shit. I know the SpongeBob levels came up with an original model where you're uh, playing as one of those background fish guys with a super, super cartoony looking uh, power washer is only available in that one level. Or the pack, I mean. Similarly, I'm sure, how they won't let me use this. That's Tyros! Each restricted technology, H002, stores the experiences endured by every knight that has ever graced it. Wow. Royal. Throughout the night, the young nobles must battle against the will of their forebearers. Oh dear. Fact. 
few make the morning. Oh dear. Rhetorical. Perhaps if they were more cognizant of the unreliability of the flesh, the entire process could be avoided. I mean, my guy probably agrees with him, let's be honest about that. waste joint. Fuck me. I mean, I know it would have to be. It needs to support the weight of everything sitting on it, but... Including the two guns, which are lower than it, but, you know, hanging from it. Oh, there we go. Fuck. Ooh. Multiple dings. I love that. No, those are candles. That's not dirt. So why isn't the dirt fading? Let's get this chest carapace revealed. Hawk Shroud. like that idea about magnetizing the weapons to the models, because I had thought about that in the past, where it's like, well, if I put, you know, the chain sword and the battle cannon on my knight, does that mean I need to go out and spend another huge chunk of cash to buy a different knight to put a different set of weapons on? Take that reactor heat sink pipe. Here. 
Oh good, I was crouching. Real slowly on the god damn it on the edge. Can I go yes, I can in fact back up the ladder. That's very silly, and I approve. Mother f I wonder if I can stop. Yes, that could be useful in the future. Let's chill out here in the between zone. Clean off all this crap in here. cleaned up so you can go back out and stomp more minions of chaos. I just assume the mechanic is aware of chaos. Surely the Emperor couldn't keep them in the dark. Surely they wouldn't keep themselves in the dark even if he told them to. Reactor. Oh my lord, there's so much mess. No. Oh, it's way in the front, that's why I couldn't hit that. Slow turning speed is kind of a ball ache, but it does make it way easier to make fine movements at the cleaner. Rum cleaned. Another torso frame decoration cleaned. <laughs> Big dome head kind of looks like the juggernaut. <laughs> Some stuff actually does have yellow highlights, this isn't helping. Oh, right. 
God damn it. Switch those in my brain again. Excellent. Ding it all, you fuck. Getting into the real body works now. Oop. I forgot I was standing on a chainsaw. <laughs> but, uh, yes. So as the timer is gone there. So I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. This thing is looking much better than it did when it came in. I'm kind of proud of myself for that, but we've still got a ways to go before we sleep. So, uh, I'll see you then, Burning Dog fans. Later. <laughs>